If you're anything like me, you're gonna wonder what will the NBA look like in like five years? And we're never gonna know until five years from now when we get to that point. But with 2K, we can get a little bit of a simulation and see what the NBA looks like in the year 2025. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. A simulated five seasons of the NBA. We're starting at the beginning of the 2024-2025 NBA season. We're gonna randomly pick a team and do a rebuild and see what, I mean, just see what the league looks like because so many things I bet have changed. But yeah, if you guys are new and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, turn on the post notifications and also like this video. I appreciate you all, now let's hop into it. All right, so first thing I wanna do is just go ahead and take a peek at, okay, what am I trying to do? I wanna like see what's happened in the past, so league history, so MVP, We've had just Giannis and Luka lately. Um, Rookie of the Year, Anthony Edwards, Evan Mobley, Imani Bates, and Terrence Howard. All these. I mean, AD's been going off defensively, it looks like. Most improved players. Oh, Ben Simmons, wow. It's a really good player to win most improved. Um, Here's the All-NBA teams. That, this stuff doesn't really matter. I want to see champions. Okay. So, the Lakers won in 1920. 2021 the Bucks won it then it was the Nuggets then it was the Hawks and then it was the Bucks again okay interesting so let's go take a look around the league and just see one thing I want to see how many 90 plus players are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 no, 22, 23, 23. There's a lot. There's like 30 or 40, maybe 50, 90 plus players in the league. I'm assuming LeBron has retired. Let me go see if LeBron is retired. I'm sure some of the older guys have retired. Um, Yes, LeBron is no longer in the league, but Bronny James is in the league. Okay, so what we got to do now Let's go ahead and see what team we're going to use. And I'm going to do that just randomly selected. I'm on the 76ers now, but we're going to randomly select a team. So we're just going to, oh shoot. We're just going to scroll through and we will stop here in three, two, and one, the Chicago Bulls. So we're going to control the Bulls, make sure we're not controlling the 76ers anymore. And all right, we got manual stuff on. So the Bulls have Cade Cunningham, Wendell, Laurie Markkinen, Kelly Oubre, Jordan McLaughlin, Zubak, DeAndre Jordan, Zion Harmon, Amari Bailey, Dorian Finney-Smith, Ricky Rubio, Diabate, Rayvon Griffith, Joe Girard, and that's it. That I mean, a, probably a solid team, but with so many 90s, like, is it really going to be that good? Let's see what happened last season with this team. Uh, oh, we were the two seed in the East. Okay, that's nice. What are we power ranked this year? Seventh? Okay. So let's just go ahead and look through all, I'm just gonna slowly go through all the rosters here so you guys can see what the NBA is looking like in five years. Interesting. I'm just gonna go through the top five on all of them because I don't wanna spend the entire time doing this. But some of these teams are really different. Like Paul George on the Cavs. The Boston Celtics look a lot different. Like everything looks different here. Um, and it's kind of crazy, but huh. The Hornets are still pretty bad compared to the rest of the teams in the league. The Utah Jazz are pretty bad. All they have is RJ. Darren Fox and Malcolm Brogdon on the Kings. Yeah, these teams look so much different. You guys can pause and look at your team if you want to. Um, but I'm just kind of slowly looking through. Cat and Wiseman on the same squad. Done it before. It's worked pretty well um, in 2K for me. But yeah, this, this is so crazy. Wow. These teams look so weird. Devin Booker's on the Wolves, but he doesn't have Cat or D'Lo, but he is on the Wolves with Jalen Brown and Zach Levine's back on the Wolves. Holy guards. Booker, Brown, Levine, Dinwiddie, Graham. Do we have big men? Wow, crazy. Oh shoot, I wasn't done. Um, Okay, so Timberwolves. Then we got the Trailblazers and the Warriors and the Wizards. All right, so. Let's go take a look at our team again. We gotta bring in a shooting guard. We're probably just gonna switch Cade Cunningham to play shooting guard. He's obviously big enough. He's like 6'7". So he's gonna play shooting guard for us. 
and this team doesn't need a lot of help, but I'm going to see if we can just make this like one of the goaded teams in the league. So we got Larry Markkinen, we got two first round picks. Can I bring in somebody even better? Uh, Mitchell Robinson, we can bring in Kawhi, but he's getting old. Mitchell Robinson, Miles Turner, that would be really good. Jaron Jackson, Jalen Brunson. Um, two 90s. De'Aaron Fox, we could use a point guard. Malcolm Brogdon, we could trade away later. Okay, I like that trade. That trade is actually super nice. Um, anything else? Nurkic and Smart, Sabonis, DeJounte Murray and Sekou. Not really anything else we, we really would need. Bradley Beal and Luke Kennard would be interesting as well. But I think we're going to go ahead and get these two 90s. And then we're going to probably trade away Malcolm Brogdon. So let's do that right away. Brogdon, and I'll throw in two more first. See if we can get a good power forward or something. Mitchell Robinson, he could play power forward for us. Um, anybody else? Jonathan Isaac, Clint Capella, Nurkic, Sabonis, Shea. Wow, there's just a lot of... Like, 90s are getting thrown at me left and right. Like, this isn't how 2K is supposed to be, but we're going to go with Wendell at the power forward. We're going to run Mitchell Robinson at the center. We're going to probably try and trade away Kelly Oubre, and then we'll upgrade the bench some. So, Kelly Oubre, and two seconds. Can we upgrade him at all? Get a better small forward. Um, Not really anybody out here that's going to be better, honestly. So, maybe we'll just run with him there. And let's just try and uh, upgrade the bench some. So, McLaughlin and Zubak should be fine. We'll try and get rid of Aaron Holiday. And see if we can bring in a better backup point guard at all. Monte Morris is there. Um, but other than that, that's really all there is. Maybe we got to throw in a first instead. All right. Um, yeah, not a lot is out here. So, huh. What do we want to do then? Let's go back. Let's see what the team actually needs off the bench. Oh, we don't need a backup point guard. We already have one. So we could trade for a backup shooting guard, small forward, and power forward is what we need. So, okay. Decent, decent. Let's go Holiday and these two. And let's try and get like a shooting guard or something. Or Rashawn Holmes would be the backup power forward. I would like that. So let's go to Rashawn. He's smaller than him, uh, Zubak. So we'll go with Rashawn. We'll make him the backup power forward. Let's trade away Zion Harmon and this first and try and get like a backup shooting guard or small forward. Otherwise, we can always switch his position as well. Um, you know what? Let's just switch his position because he's already an 82, so he'll go up a little bit. We'll make him a shooting guard. He's an 83, and then we just got to trade Amari Bailey and try and get a backup small forward. And this team should be ready. So, Amari Bailey... Uh, we'll throw Diabate in there for some money, and then we'll throw in this first. Richardson could play small forward for us, probably. Isaac Okoro would be pretty good. Uh, Killian Hayes. Well, Bull Bull's out there, but we don't need him, unfortunately. Kevin Porter Jr. Let's go with Kevin Porter Jr. We'll run him at the small forward. Got to go to the 10-man rotation. Um, so we got Fox, Cunningham, Porter, Carter... Robinson, then off the bench, we got Holmes, Oubre, Zubak, McLaughlin, and Harmon. Um, yeah, I think the team's good. Okay, Jim Boylan's gone, so that's good. I think we're, our team is good. Like, I don't know what else we need to do. So let's go ahead and let's simulate this first season, but let's uh, go with a seven seconds offense, I think. And I'll simulate season number one. We'll see if this team's good enough to win a championship. Otherwise, we'll go into the next season. We'll probably do another season regardless just because this video is already not very long. And I don't want to leave you guys with like a seven minute video. So I'll catch you guys at the end of season number one. All right, so our season is over. And with 54 wins, we're probably going to be one of the top like three seeds in the Eastern Conference. But uh, here are all the awards. Bronny James wins Rookie of the Year. All right, all right. Picking up where his dad left off, you know, winning awards and everything like that. Isaac Davis won Coach of the Year. Don't know what team he coaches for. But here are the All-NBA awards. Any bulls on anything? We do not have any bulls. Okay. 
All right, rookies. I don't know if we even had any rookies. I don't even know who the rookies are, but we are the two seed down here in the East. So let's go ahead over to the stats and see how everybody played. Katie Cunningham, 25 points a game, eight assists, playing like a beast. Darren Fox, Kevin Porter Jr., Kelly Oubre Jr., Wendell Carter Jr. We got a lot of juniors on this team. Uh, everybody played good. I'm ready to simulate the playoffs and I want to see what happens. So we'll go up against Philly who has Ben, Richardson, Tobias, Alex Antetokounmpo, and Joel Embiid. That's a good team. That is a really good team. But luckily, we beat them in five games. Now we got Giannis and the Bucks. Giannis is a 99 overall, obviously. Still a great player. Look at all these players that would be starters on real teams right now. Now they're just bench pieces because 2K's... Uh, progression system is just so flawed we're up 3-2 can we win game six and move on to the eastern conference finals looks like we will beautiful we won by 14 we got indiana that's the cat and wiseman team if i do remember correctly so let's go take a peek at them they got alfred payton tyler hero cam reddish james wiseman carl anthony towns paolo banchero uh nerlens noel josh Akogi, jeremy lamb kj adams kanan carlisle Derek rose Jerron Artest, Edmund Sumner, Javoy Thompson. All right. They are the one seed. We are the two seed, and they're up 3 nothing. Any way we can make a comeback? Can we win game four? We do slightly win game four. Okay, can we come back and win game five as well? Probably not. They're kind of... Oh, okay, it's a close game. I'm not going to jump in because we're just down by so much in the series, but... If we win this game, that would be crazy. All right, we're going to win. We won that game as well. We took off there in the fourth quarter, and we just slowly crawled our way back through the first two quarter, or the three quarters, and then the fourth quarter, we got her done. All right, can we tie this series up? If we can tie this series up and make a game seven out of this, that would be insane, but it looks like they're going to run away with it here, and they do. All right, we got to come back next season. We got to come back in 2026 and try and win it all. James Wiseman is the finals MVP as the Pacers won 4 0. All right, draft lottery time. I don't know if we have any. I don't think we have any picks, actually. Get me out of here. We have no picks. Um, We're going to hire a better trainer. We're going to bring in Byron Barry. And then we're just going to go past the draft to rookie signing, see if we had any rookies. I don't think we even had a second round pick. We did not. So Harmon and Foster need their options. And then qualifying offers to Gerard and Cunningham. Perfect. Free agency. Cade Cunningham is the top free agent. All right, we can match him. So let's bring back Jordan McLaughlin. Let's bring back... Um, what am I doing? Okay, let's bring back Cade Cunningham. Throw him as much money as we can. Um, and then do we have anybody else we need to bring back? It doesn't really, none of these names are catching my eye as people that were on our team. Um, we don't have enough money for anybody else. So let's just see. We're getting Jordan and Cade back. So that's perfect. Uh, we can't keep the rights on Joe Girard. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. He's not really that good anyways. So we're going to agree to terms with Jordan and Cade. And just make sure that everything works out. All right. And it looks like we're matching Cade Cunningham there. And do we have any money to sign anyone? Not really. I don't know who you would even need, to be honest. But let's just get out of there. Let's go to free agency and see what happens um, with the rest of the squad. Hopefully, we are a good team and we can just go on, win the championship, not have to worry about anything else. Um... I'm going to make some moves this year, though, but the team looks really solid. Um, we lost a bunch of, like, bad players and maybe a couple decent players, but other than that, we look pretty good. Um, but, yeah, I'm ready. I think we can win a championship this year. I'll see you guys at the start of the season. All right, so this is the team we got. We lost uh, Kelly Oubre, which I didn't even notice, really, but our bench still looks pretty solid. Oh, and we also lost Kevin Porter Jr. That kind of hurts. Um, but I want to I want to make a move. I want to do something that I've never like really tried before, and that's trading away our best player. All right, Cade Cunningham. Oh, nothing is offered for Cade. Okay. Um, what about Wendell? 
Okay, Wendell's got some offers out here. Any of them good enough to consider doing? No, 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 no. I, I don't really see anything that's gonna be worth us doing. Yeah. I think we might have to just run it back this year, to be honest, and see what happens. Um, we'll just get a couple pieces for the bench, and then we should be pretty much fine. So I'd like to bring in a better small forward for sure. So if we could trade Dorian Finney-Smith and like two firsts and get a solid starting small forward, we should be pretty good. So... Is there really nothing? Wow. Absolutely nothing. Okay, um... Does he just not make enough money? Maybe that's why. Okay, let's try and trade Jordan McLaughlin then and see what that can bring us. Matisse and Zion Cruz. Um, Onyeko Kongu, we don't need Onyeku. Um, Kevin Porter Jr. Bol Bol. I just need like a starting small forward and then just another piece to put on the bench. You know, Matisse and Zion Cruz, we'll do that. Okay, so... We'll go with Matisse at the small forward, or should we do... No, we gotta do Matisse at the small forward. Then off the bench, we got a shooting guard, a power forward, a point guard. And I wonder if one of these two power forwards can become a small forward for us. So, Michael Foster probably could. Otherwise, Griffith... No, he couldn't. So we'll go with Michael Foster as our backup small forward. He goes down to an 80, but that's fine. We're going to run a nine-man rotation now. And this is going to be the team. i hoping this team is good enough to win us a championship. I'm just completely out of assets, basically, at this point. Either way, I will see you guys at the end of the season. I wonder if Cade Cunningham is one of those players, kind of like Luka, kind of like Zion, not Zion, kind of like uh, Giannis, where, like, if you have them on your team, you're kind of unbeatable in the playoffs. At least that's what I hope, because we need to win a championship. We're 61 and 21 this year, so it's a good start. Um, Zion won our defensive player of the year. Jacob Under won one coach of the year. Cool. So Cade Cunningham is on All NBA First Team, so maybe he is. He's right next to those two I mentioned, plus Zion and Evan Mobley. All right, we also got De'Aaron Fox on All NBA Second Team and Wendell on All NBA Third Team. Plus Matisse on defensive second team. All right, man. We're the one seed. Let's go check out the stats quick, and then let's get into the playoffs. We got Cade, De'Aaron Fox, Wendell. I'm surprised Wendell made all NBA third team, but I guess 15 rebounds is really solid. I'm ready to rock and roll in these playoffs. Um, I hope you guys are ready too, because it's going to be fun. Who is Miami? They have Kyle Guy. Oh, this is easy money, man. I mean, these are three good players, but this, easy money. Easy money. Wow, they took us to a seventh game. Okay, maybe not easy money then. Oh, God, dude. Why you got to play me like that, man? Seven games against the ace seed? Now I got to go up against Giannis and Drummond? What? Oh, my God. Okay. We're up 2-0. Perfect. Oh my god, another 7? Kate is... Kate is selling, man. I can't be keep... I can't keep going to 7 games. I cannot do it. Alright. We're up 2-0. I'm a sim cast. I got better luck with the sim cast. Come on. Alright. Do it. Series are close. Games are close. My God. What's a guy got to do to have an easy series around here? Back and forth. Back and forth. Looks like they're going to win this game. Come on, man. Can we win this game, please, and just make it to the finals? Thank you. 4-1 for the series. The easiest series we've had. All right. Now we got Portland, who has LaMelo Ball, Bogdanovich, Jalen Johnson, Jason Tatum, and Miles Turner. Plus John Wall and off the bench, Miles Turner off the bench. Seems like game one, we win. Can we get game two? We do get game two, and how about game three? 
No, they take game three. Okay. Um, can we take game four? We do. All right. I want to jump into this game if we're winning or if it's close. So heading into the fourth, we're down by a little bit. Um, down by about... Yeah, I'm going to stop it here. Down by 10. Video is not too long. We'll see if we can make a comeback. I'll see you guys in there. All right. We're in the game. We have the ball as well, which is great. De'Aaron. Not the best shot to start out this comeback with, but whatever. All right. Box out. Come on, Matisse. All right. Cade's got the ball. Cade is going to be such a beast for us. Watch out. Let's go. Let's go, Cade. My guy. We're down by eight. Um, I want to make sure that I like the substitutions that are in right now. So let's go ahead and look at who is in the game. Zion Harmon at the small forward. I think we'll put Matisse there. We will put Mitchell Robinson. We'll put Wendell in. And I like that a lot better. Okay. So we'll confirm that. Next dead ball, those will take effect. Cool. So... Darren Fox is a pretty solid defender to have on LaMelo Ball. They take a timeout. We'll get our subs in, and I will see you guys after the timeout. All right. Can we get another stop and then get a bucket, get it down to about six points? We'd be sitting in pretty good spot then. Bogdanovich. Circus shot's not going to go. Oh, what a bad pass by me, but it, it works out, and we got to get a nice shot up, though. Matisse in the corner. Bang that. Let's go. Green bean, baby. We are down by only five now. Whew. We can get this to a three-point game. I'll be sitting pretty nicely. Why is their center bringing up the ball? I also don't like Wendell on Jason Tatum. Yeah, for that exact reason, I do not like Wendell on Jason Tatum. Just way too athletic. All right. Um. Oh, nice take, De'Aaron. All right. Foul on LaMelo. We make these free throws, cut it back to five, get a stop, and then get another bucket, and we're in really, really good spot. We still got two minutes left. Drain both those free throws. Let's go. All right, LaMelo. Let's see if De'Aaron can clamp up on LaMelo. And not when I do things like that. Wow. That's not Tony Bradley, their center, is it? That they've been having bring the ball up? No way. Tony Bradley does not have any sort of handles. Or apparently any finishing ability because he totally skunked that. So, Cade with the mid-range pull-up. Yes, let's go. Down by only three points now. All right, we can do this. I fully believe that we can win this game. Oh, the man with a nice spin move. De'Aaron's got to get back into position. And De'Aaron didn't like it, so he poked the ball away. And with the, the lob to Cade, let's go! That was nasty. Did he cock it? Ooh. Nasty. Nasty. All right. We are down by just one point here. I don't even want them to, like, get a good look at a shot. Like, that's too good a look. It was over the outstretched arms of Mo Mitchell Robinson, though, so I can't be too mad. Oh, my God. That was too close to the, foul or the out-of-bounds line. Mitchell Robinson is wide open. And not anymore. Okay. Cade? Nope. Oh, I meant to pass that to De'Aaron. Good thing LaMelo is not a good defender because, wow. If I would have caught De'Aaron right away, it would have been much nicer looking play. But in the end, everything worked out fine. And we're still down by just one point. So, um, LaMelo's got me on his hip. Okay, let's go. Oh, Matisse. Thank you, Cade. Wow. Wow. Matisse totally skunked that alley-oop. Can he just not dunk or what? Like, you're wide open, bro. Catch the ball, put in the rim. Not that hard when you're that athletic. I mean, maybe he can't dunk or something because, like, he should have easily made that. But we got a two-point lead. 21 seconds left. See you guys after this Portland timeout. All right. We got to get a stop. And at worst, give up two. We can't give up three. We just gave up three, didn't we? Nope, that was only a two. He had his foot on the line. All right, who do we want taking the game-winning shot? I think it's got to be Cade.
Oh, okay, we got to play defense. We can't... All right, good. Overtime, I guess. Um, Let's simcast some overtime here. So that way we don't have to sit through the whole thing. We can jump back in, in if we have to, but we don't got to play the entire five minutes because that would take a very long time that I don't want to really sit through all of that gameplay. Um, So let's go ahead and let's simcast and see what happens. They're up by two. It's tied. Wow, we're down by seven. Okay. Didn't want to have to jump back in down by this much, but um, apparently we have to. Oh, that's good defense. Let's go. Cade, Wendell, money. Do it. Dude, what? What? Are you kidding me? Bro. Bro. I'm I'm not even gonna. No. Oh. We're down by two with 13 seconds left. We're jumping back in. We got to get a steal here. All right, we got a foul on the mellow. All right, tough. The Simcast actually did good for me. If he misses one of these, that'd be huge. But if he makes... Okay, he made the one. But if he makes the second one, we definitely got to go get a three. Guess we got to go get a three either way. Okay, so we get a three. Foul. Hope they miss one. If they don't, then we just got to get another three-pointer. So... Matisse. Come on, drain that. Dang it. All right. We got to go to the next game, which is fine. So I will see you guys. Actually, you guys can just sit with me through this. So, all right. We got to win this next game, and we should be fine. Okay. Start of game six, and we are up 3-2 in the series. Close game here. And they're going to win this one. Wow. We got to win this. If we don't win this... The entire rebuild is a failure. We're up by just a little. And we're going to win. Perfect. Wow. That was the toughest playoffs that I won a championship with that I've had in a long time. I just need to take a breather from that one, man. Wow. I mean, I've, lo I've lost in the playoffs. Obviously, those are tougher. But like this time, to get a win, we won seven games three times. And the other one was five games. Like, wow. Deer and Fox actually ended up winning finals MVP, so that was pretty cool. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I had a ton of fun making this one. Crazy to see what the NBA looks like, you know, five, six, seven years down the line. Um, if you guys want to see me do more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below or else give me other videos you guys want me to do. 2K20 is coming to an end, waiting for 2K21. Let me know if you want reactions, quizzes, what kind of videos you want. I'm down for pretty much anything 2K or basketball related, um, but let me know. I'll look into anything else you guys want me to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, turn on post notice. As always, it's been TK. It's been real. Peace out.